All right, welcome to a tier list for ReZero Arc 1. I've gone and compiled a list of random characters and different funny things that I've seen throughout Arc 1. And I'm going to categorize them from peak, great, good, mid, and dookie in order of how I feel about them, how I feel like how much I enjoyed them, how much the impact they've had. I don't know. Just like a vibe tier list. First up, we have my man, Mr. Appa Guy. Where does Appa Guy deserve to go? Let's think about Appa Guy has done. Appa Guy was our initial checkpoint. He called us broke. He called us the broke loser. Don't waste my time. Get the fuck out of here. He kicked us out. But he did give us an Appa that one time where we were looking really down on our luck. Even though he started mean, I don't know. He's, he's a bit of a soon today. I think that I'm fine with putting him in great tier, right? He's an all right guy. Maybe he's a true sin of Archbishop of Pride. Nah, I'm not sure. But he is a very iconic character. Mr. Appa Man, the first checkpoint we've ever had. I'll put him in great tier for now. This kid. All right, next up, we have the Appa Kid. You dumb fucking idiot. Getting lost in traffic. You don't even know where your dad's stall is. Literally one street. Your dad has the fucking Appa vendor. You don't even know where to go, dumbass. Belongs in Dookie tier. Appa mom. Also, what a dumbass. You lost a kid? You had to have a 17-year-old need and a fucking half-elf go around to find your fucking kid? A bunch of idiots. But she kind of hot. Maybe, maybe, maybe mid? Maybe mid? I'll put her in mid. L mom, losing your kid, come on. All right. <laughs> First, we have dumb. <laughs> I think that... I honestly don't know how to feel about dumb, dumber, and dumbest. You know? Like, they're a joke. But they low-key hilarious. And like, they always show up. They just spawn in back alley. They always show up. I feel like... I kind of want to put them... <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about the bandits. Let's think about a critical. This is arc one only. Arc one only. I mean, they... He did... This guy did get a kill on Subaru. This, this guy did kill Subaru once. So, like... Because he actually kills Subaru, maybe I won't have to put him in good tier. Now, Subaru more, more like walked into the knife that he was holding, right? But still, he was holding the knife, and it just happened to just get put in his back. Um, I mean, he actually did get a kill, right? The much okay, Dumber, he's a very forgettable character. I don't even know what the fuck he did. Dumbest has a dickhead mushroom head cut, and I always enjoyed it when we kicked the side of his head. This shit was always so funny. So, like, like I don't know any, I don't remember what the fuck this guy did. But at the very least, these two are kind of entertaining and getting shit on. So maybe like this. Maybe I'll put him in peak. I don't know. Because like this guy's very forgettable. This guy seems to be the leader of the pack that actually did get a kill on Subaru, right? And this kid is just as a dickhead. But the way that he got kicked on the side of the head was always fucking funny to me. Because how funny it is when we beat the shit out of him and how like what's the word how much of like a confident cocky asshole he is he truly talks big i'm gonna put him in peak because of how much of a punching bag he is next up before we get to elsa um what else should be next where did felt go here's felt let's think about felt all right we have our royal candidate, Felt. Let's think about what she's done in Arc 1. Stole from Amelia. Nice. Created an opportunity for Amelia and Subaru to meet. Nice. Felt is a very strong girl that's not like the other people in the ghetto that are simply saying live strong and trying to be cowards, right? She actually puts the money where her mouth is out or she acts, you know, according to how she talks. She wants to get out of poverty. She's a strong girl. She also has the Blessing of Wind. Gave us a really cool scene against Elsa. She also seeked help for Reinhardt and clutched at the end of the day. I think that Felt is... a great character. 
I think Felt is a great character. This is kind of fucked up. That Mushroom Head is above these two now. The more I think about it. For those reasons, I'll demote him down. That, that just feels weird. To have Mushroom Dickhead and peek over Felt and <laughs> guy feels weird. So I'm going to demote him down here. You, you can chill with the other dude. This guy is so forgettable. I don't even remember what the fuck he did. But yeah, he's going to get demoted. Yeah, I'm fine with putting Felt over here. Next. Romji. Romji and Felt. Now. Romji did eat the potato chips without fucking paying for it. But Romji also appraised the media at 20 holy coins. Which was a price higher than what Elsa could, you know, bet for. Romji also was a nice standout guy. Grandfather figure kind of like to Felt. Love the dude. He's a giant. Attacks with a club. His shack also got busted open by fucking Reinhard. And now he has to pay for it. I think that I'm fine with putting Romji at great tier. Yeah, I'm fine with putting Romji. Romji and Felt to be, should be together. I'm fine with putting them at like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put them together like that. Romji, standout character. Love him. Rom better than Rem and Ram. Next up, more of the characters from the slums. This is, uh, Liv Strong Kyodai. He's a dude that we saw multiple times where he just kind of gives Subaru the directions. Uh, is he mid? He's a nice guy. I'll put him up here. I think he's a little bit above the bandit dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Liv Strong guy should be good. Next up, random furries. Random furries that in the first couple minutes of ReZero episode 1 slap Subaru because Subaru walked into the girls, you know, washroom. I think there's other girls in there too. Uh, they slapped the shit out of Subaru. They were also our first alley of fan service, not really. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Where should we put them? Where should we put them? Does Kya and slapping Subaru is quite often a lame cliche. I don't know. They're kind of mid. They're kind of mid. And same with the scalies, right? These scalies, bro. These are the dudes that when Subaru, it, it's basically only demi fucking uh, humans allowed, right? Racist lizards. Maybe the racist lizards are super based. Maybe the racist scalies are super based now that I think about it. Yeah, what the fuck was Subaru thinking, bro? Going to a specific tavern that's only for scalies. The disrespect Subaru is showing. Oh my god. Maybe the racist scalies deserve a peak tier, man. Nah, they gotta go down here, bro. They're going down here. Right next to the furries. Mom's still on top in mid, though. Next up! We have... Natsuki Subaru's initial setup. We got the tonkotsu and the potato chips. Now... The potato chips were a great bargaining tool that got eaten up by Ramji immediately. The potato chips were also used as a reward in, I believe, Memory Snow? I forget. But the village kids, I think Petra, right? Petra won the snow building competition. But that's like not Arc 1. But it leads... But this is the setup for Arc 1. I am gonna put the Tonkotsu and the potato chips... Uh, the top of good tier. They were useful bargaining trades, but not as useful as what we're gonna get next. Meteor. Oh, yeah. This shit. First peak candidate for of Arc 1 is the Nokia flip phone Meteor. Not only is it worth 20 holy coins, it also has a battery life so strong that in this current state of season 1, when Subaru is negotiating with Krush and fucking Anastasia and Russell Fellows, the Meteor was still at full battery, bro. How the fuck? Also, the rapid special move, the flash attack worked on Rem. It also captivated the hearts of dumb fucking idiots in Anisaka that have no idea what a camera is. Meteor on top. Absolutely. Next up. Natsuki Subaru himself. Arc 1 Natsuki Subaru is unironically peak. The first one that the first run he's ever done was straight up the god run. 
he rinsed up Amelia to the next level. The amount of affection that we built up in the first run can never be repeated. That first run was amazing, and then he was being a fucking idiot. Then he fucks up with the regressions, doesn't even know he's regressing because he is in shock, calls Amelia slur in public. Ooh, ooh. Remember that part? I remember that part. But he doesn't give up. Even after facing the Bowel Hunter and being traumatized, he doesn't give up. He figures out a way to make things work. Calls on Reinar to help. I think that Natsuki Subaru may be top of grade tier. I'm not so sure that he himself is peak. But in Arc 1, he does pop off like crazy. He does. If you just look at the actions, yes, there's some L's that he was taking, but the highs are way higher than the lows of Arc 1. Maybe it should be up here. I feel like it should be bottom of peak or top of great. He did make a lot of things happen. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put him here for now. I'm, I'm gonna put him in here for now. Next up. E. M. T. Immediaton! This dumb bitch lost her fucking insignia. She then wasted her time helping this dumbass Subaru. Spends more time wasting her time helping find this dumbass kid's parents. I want to think about it. She trash, bro. And then she dies the first round. <laughs> Straight up. You just die in the first round. I gotta fucking help your ass. You tell us you're Satella too. And then the next one I say you're Satella, you get mad at me. Bitch, you told me to say it. But that's a different timeline. She is pretty bad. <laughs> like, think about it. What did she do? Other than just like helping Subaru in the beginning and then... I don't know. She's kind of useful against the battle against, you know, Elsa. But that's more Puck than anything. I think Amelia is mid. I think that Amelia is pretty mid and in, in, like, straight up. Like, what has she done? Other than fan service, other than just look pretty. Nothing, bro. In arc one. She gets her shit stolen, she's panicking, she's a fucking idiot. Roswell even says, If a royal candidate is so incompetent to lose the insignia, then that's already telling of what kind of character you are. Lap pillow? Nah, bro, that was Puck's lap pillow. Now we're thinking Arc 1 right now. We're not thinking Season 1, we're thinking about Arc 1. Specifically Arc 1. Puck gave the lap pillow. Hmm. I cannot find a good reason to place Amelia higher, man. She's straight up, exactly. She got a debt that she can't fucking pay back, baby. <laughs> but I think a lot of that line was actually projection from Subaru as he realizes the things, the good deeds of Amelia has done for him and he feels guilty and it came out in the wrong way. Arc 1... Uh, she kind of holds it down against Elsa, right? She, she kind of holds it down against Elsa. But she honestly doesn't fucking do much. I put her at top of good tier. Puck on the other hand. Puck on the other hand, bro. If it wasn't for the 9 to 5, Puck is so peak. Puck is so cute. Puck is so strong. But the 9 to 5 contract, obviously that's exists to nerf Puck. Puck put in a lot of fucking work. Puck versus Elsa wasn't even close, bro. If only we had more time, right? I'm not confident enough to put Puck in the same level of Meteor. But I think that at the top of great tier is where Puck should land. Next up, we have Elsa. Grand uh, no, no, no. Before we get, we'll save Elsa for last. Reinhard. Sword Saint Reinhard. And you're wondering why do I have two Reinhards here, okay? This is actually Reinhard. And this is. The poor sword that had to bear Reinhardt's attack. So we're just evaluating Reinhardt right now. Reinhardt the Lolly Hunter. Reinhardt the Lolly Saint. Hmm. He was so sick. Not only does he clutch and save us against Dumb Dumber and Dumbest. 
He was so clutch. The whole battle against Elsa wasn't even a fucking battle. The moment that he showed up and stomped the ground, this force fucking applied. Elsa's fucking glazing. It's truly a night of nights, better than I expected. This dude, and again, before I even started ReZero, I think I actually referenced him in Eminence Shadow Episode 5, where I say, holy shit, um, fucking I am Atomic or Reinhardt, because I've seen Reinhardt in power scaling shit, I've seen this motherfucker everywhere, and now I finally witnessed him, he truly is greater than I expected, and, and, this dude's blessing, projectile avoidance or whatever, that shit was stupid OP, right? That shit was insane. So, I'm gonna put Ryan on a peak. He is so fucking peak. He creates so much art hype. Episode 3 is still one of my favorite ReZero episodes. Simply due to how hype that power fantasy was when he showed up. Reinhardt Sword. Reinhardt Sword. You got it. It's a random ass sword, bro. Random ass sword that he picked up. That bear the full brunt of Von Astra's sword technique, just nuking it. It also fought against Elsa. I'm putting this shit on peak along with that mirror. I'm putting this shit on peak. Reinhardt's busted ass sword. Remember, Reinhardt would not use his own sword. Why? Because that sword is only drawn when the situation necessitates it. The fact that I have not drawn the sword means that it is not one of those times. Oh, oh, the disrespect. I forget how fucking snappy, how like, how, that's not passive aggressive, but the disrespect in such a respectful way. You know what I fucking mean? The sword is nothing without Reinhardt. Okay, but it still bear the full brunt of it. It doesn't matter if it's a level one sword, if it's a level zero sword. The mere fact that it, withstood the attack and vaporized. Show some fucking respect for the sword, dude. So disrespectful. Have some fucking tact and chat. Jesus Christ. And finally, Elsa Granhild is S tier. No, it's not my horny that's saying that she's peak, okay? Elsa, the terror, the apps, the, the mixed confusion of feelings, bro. Am I supposed to be scared? Am I supposed to be horny? All of the above. Her design is peak. Her voice acting is peak. The lick in the milk is peak. Her entire crazy bowel dism bowel hunting fantasy is peak. She's an insane girl with an insane personality. And she's so strong. The fact that she literally ripped her fucking feet off the ice and then cauterized it with ice. Bro, bro, she's raw. And she survived. Reinhardt's attack. I don't know how. Don't spoil me. I don't know how the fuck she survived that shit. But she did. This is a fact. And one day she might come back, man. And let's do a final review of the tier list. At the very bottom, dumbass fucking kid. And the most forgettable bandit. Even amongst the bandits, I don't even remember what your ass was doing. Racist scaly. Boring cliche. L mom losing the kid. Dumbest than dumb, at, at least kind of rememberable, right? Fucking dumbass dickhead. And this dude actually kind of got a kill on Subaru in an indirect way. Live strong Kyodai, Tonkotsu, and Potato Chips. Useless EMT. It's not the child's fault for getting lost, though? No, it is. If the child was smarter, if the child was competent, it could have simply not been lost. Truly slothful. If Betricus was there, Betricus would fucking call the kid slothful and fucking twist that kid up with the unseen hand, and he wouldn't be wrong. Appa guy? First checkpoint. Iconic character. Ramji and Felt? Heartwarming family. Natsuki Subaru, low-key kind of OP in Arc 1. Yeah, there's some L's that he was taking, but like, aside from the confusion and the shock, this dude, Arc 1 is kind of insane. Truly insane. Puck? Yeah, Puck is OP, but he's only OP when it needs to be OP, and he gets nerfed for the rest of it. Meteor, remember. OPS Meteor has many special attacks, is useful for the future arcs as well. Reinhardt sword, respect for taking the full brunt of the Von Astra technique and, you know, respect to it. Reinhardt just peak as usual and Elsa, goddamn, she is mommy. And I think this is my Arc 1 tier list. Look forward to Arc 2 later and we will also do Arc 3. And <clears throat> Sorry, and I'll think about different types of tier list. <clears throat> Sorry. Just think about... <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Think about... <clears throat> I swallowed the tea wrong. Think about the different tier list of Breezer that we can possibly have. 
and I will see you in the next one.